the part one exam has two parts okay one part is called foundation of practice this is foundation of practice and this is theory and science the day you will appear in the exam the exam occurs three times a year everywhere there every year there will be this three diet for part one exam and in every diet there will be two exam these two exam comprises of part one in the afternoon there will be 2.5 hour for fop exam and in the evening there will be another 2.5 hour exam for test part am i clear the foundation of uh, practice part will have uh, the questions like the clinical ones sign symptoms disease investigation management basic clinical questions and clinical scenarios and the theory and science will comprises the basic things like the pharmacology some pathophysiology some mechanism of action am i clear some sorts of anatomy is also pharmacology is also am i clear about this two part and the preparation and the study material are completely different for this both part i recommend my students to complete our entire course then decide whether to sit this exam together or separately because royal college has made a facility for all of you that you can sit this exam separately not in the same day if you can sit in the same day you can definitely but if you think that i am very busy with my hospital work i do a full time job and my in my house i have lots of responsibility i cannot take stress for the two exam like five hour exam it's really stressful you know five hour exam then you can take part separately how you can take part maybe in the february you can sit for four then you will read only the four parts the clinical examination uh, the clinical uh, scenarios and then in the june you can sit for tests am i clear but if someone uh, think that no i can take preparation for both of this together i know a lot of people who has sit this together and got a very nice very high marks i personally sit separately because i did a very uh, hectic job that time and also five hour exam this was my first post graduation exam i thought i start slowly gradually okay so i will recommend all of you that at first complete our entire syllabus of our six months then decide what, whether you will sit for the both part whether you will sit for the single part okay even if within this six month course uh, within entire six month after four month if you think that both of them will be uh, difficult for all of you then you can also continue for one part do the classes you will have the lecture notes together and also for this uh, facility from royal college we have compiled the lecture note you will see today endocrinology uh, suppose endocrinology lecture note the half of the book is for foundation of practice topics and half of the books will be theory and science topics so that if someone wants to take preparation separately they can do it if one someone wants to take preparation to together they can do it too am i clear so this is a facility for part 1 two parts two and half hour and two, two and half hour in between there will be a gap of 1.5 hour this is a resting hour in every diet so after appearing for you will have a gap for 1.5 hours and then you have to start for the test and this entire theory exams some countries have center in their country but in our country in bangladesh there is no center so you can sit for the exam for the part 1 and part 2 both by sitting at your home the process is very easy they are very flexible you will just need one laptop and one mobile by that and there is some rules that you have to be set in a room that no one can enter in that room if anyone enters in between the exam your exam will be cancelled so you have to lock your door and you have to sit with a laptop Com question will come in the computer they will uh, send a link to you 48 hours later just in the exact time the question will appear in front of you not before that and their system is very smooth and the internet speed i did not find any difficulty during my theory exam and lots of my students has appeared in this exam no one faced any difficulty in bangladesh uh, whenever i appeared for this part 1 that part that diet was the second time that the online exam started actually previously there was no online exam before covid time people had to go to india to sit for the exam but after covid they have decided uh, during covid they have decided to take this exam 
online and when, if, uh, where, uh, when you will sit for the exam there will be one examiner on the webcam who will continuously looking after you and the entire uh, examination is recorded by the mobile you put by yourself they will provide you one uh, software in that mobile you will download that and you will put the mobile uh, a, a bit away from you and you will sit here for the exam this is the in entire process of exam that's very easy so I think for all of us for uh, a doctor uh, who is a pediatrician maybe in Bangladesh he, she, he or she might be a great pediatrician maybe completed FCPS MD but if you have Royal College exam always there will be a door open to you right always there will be a door open to you I have done only MRCPCH and BCH I have not done FCPS and MD and I don't have any regret that was my goal I wanted to do a Royal College degree that is why I have done DCH from Royal College and uh, MRCPCH from Royal College that is also a good opportunity I am working in a uh, uh, hospital I'm not working in a corporate hospital as a specialist by doing MRCPCH and DCH so I think that's a great opportunity for all of you because previously uh, I know my seniors who appeared this exam going to India and multiple countries that's a huge expense you know going to another country sitting in an exam and that time the guidelines were not clear also when I, I appeared in the exam I did not get that much clear uh, instructions I, I used to read lots of books because I was confused because uh, that time the candidates were less I know maybe one or two people who has passed part one after passing my exam I got to know okay there was lots of confusion there actually I have read lots of unnecessary things that is not needed later on I we have altogether compile this course so that it gets a bit easier for my fellow juniors okay for the preparation time I should tell you that as I already told you that six months six months our course if you continue entire six months that will be helpful but if someone uh, enrolled in our four month or three month course I would recommend always you guys have to take a bit extra pressure why because our entire syllabus is for six months and every week there will be one class so whatever I will discuss today like endocrinology you will get next seven days to read that next class will be after seven days but who has taken the four months or three month course in between this week you have to do another extra class from our e-learning platform because the their time is very limited right they have to take an ex extra pressure but who are with six month course they can just read one topic together and for the study method that helped in my case because I did a very hectic job whenever I cleared my entire MRCPC I had to go to hospital six days a week from seven uh, so from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day so what I did uh, you what you can do like today's lecture will comprise of two hour and two and a half hour right and you will have the access of your e-learning platform with you put this in your mobile maybe you are in hospital maybe in your house you are busy two and a half hour means if you divide this lecture in each 30 minute it will be five division right imagine every day if you could study 30 minutes of lecture listen to first 30 minute and then memorize the, that 30 minute lecture within the entire day the next day listen to the next 30 minutes divide your study not to stress yourself that okay I have lots of things to study MRCPCH needs consistency of study and consistent revision if you sit at least for one hour every day half hour you will listen to the lecture and the next half hour you will memorize those lecture topics that will be enough for all of you